340 milligrams of an unknown protein are dissolved in enough solvent to make 5 ml of solution. The osmotic pressure of this solution is measured to be 0 0.320 atm at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the molar mass of the protein. So if you can recall, the formula for osmotic pressure is pi equal to mRP. So pi is the symbol for osmotic pressure. Capital M stands for molarity of the solution. R stands for the gas constant. And T is the temperature in Kelvin. So in the problem, we are given the osmotic pressure, which is 0 0.320. 320 ATM. We are not given the molarity, so just write M. R is something you need to memorize. The value of R is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And T is the temperature in Kelvin. So in the problem, the given temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So we need to convert this first into Kelvin. If you can recall, how do we convert Celsius to Kelvin? We simply add 273.15. So 25 plus 273.15. The temperature is 298.15 Kelvin. So that is our temperature in Kelvin. So first thing we can solve is actually the molarity. So how do we solve the molarity? We simply divide both sides of the equation by... 0 0.0821 times 298.15. So we also do that, of course, to the other side. So 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin times 298.15 Kelvin. Okay, so on the right side, as you can see, R and T will cancel out. So what is left on the right side is M, or the molarity. So on the left side, grab your calculator and compute 0 0.320 divided by 0 0.0821 times 298.15 you will get an answer of about 0 0.01307. And since this is molarity, the unit for molarity is moles per liter, which you can also check by canceling the units. So as you can see, what's left is liters and moles. So the, the unit for molarity is moles per liter. So now that we have the molarity, if you can recall again, how do we solve molarity? Molarity is equal to moles per liter. So moles of solute per liter of solution. So we already solved the molarity, that's 0 0.01307 moles per liter. In the problem, we're not given the moles, so just write moles divided by liters. So in the problem, we are given the volume of the solution, which is 5 ml. So we need to convert first 5 ml into liters. Again, how do we convert ml to liters? We divide ml by 1,000. So 5 divided by 1,000, that is 0 0.005 liters.
Okay. So to solve for the moles, how do we do this? We multiply both sides of the equation by 0 0.005 liters. So you do that on the right side. You also do that on the left side. So on the right side, 0 0.005 will cancel out. So what's left on the right side is your moles. On the left side, you can see the liters will cancel out. So what's left is the unit for moles, which is moles. So grab your calculator, 0 0.005 times 0 0.01307. That's equal to 0 0.0000. 6535 moles. Now that we have the moles, we can now solve for the molar mass. If you can remember, molar mass is just grams per mole. So in the problem, we are given 340 milligrams. So we need to convert that first into grams. So how do we convert milligrams to grams? You divide by 1,000. So 340 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.340 grams. Divided by the moles we got, 0 0.00006535 moles. And if you solve that in your calculator, you will get the answer 5,202.75 and the unit is grams per mole. So you might be wondering why is the molar mass so large? So because the given is an unknown proteins and proteins are known to have big molar masses. So don't find it unusual. It's common for proteins to have big molar masses. So the molar mass is 5,202.75 grams per mole. If you want to express it in proper significant figures, it should be in three significant figures, and that is 5.20 times 10 to the 3 grams per mole. And this is the answer to the question.